your inspiration station. You are still tuned into the kingdom with your boy script, and it's time now for the warm up session. And yo, it doesn't get any better than this, man. Now we, we talk about sporting excellence all the time, every single day on the kingdom, and you know, from all sport codes, cricket, I mean hockey, we see the Namibian athletes doing amazing things, and it is yo. My privilege, man, to, to introduce this, this brother right here. Uh, we've got a national treasure, if I do say so myself, in the building. A mainstay at Ewood Park with Blackburn Rovers in the championship, but uh, he's also a brave warrior um, with a whole career still ahead of him, and we're looking to catch up with Ryan Nyambe, who's in the building. My brother. My guy. What's poppin', man? Nah, bro, I'm good. Calm? Yeah, man, chill. Welcome home, first of all, man. Thank like, you, how, how, does it, how does it feel being back for, for this long? Uh, bro, I try to come home every year, and it's you know, like I said before, it's the, the welcome is unreal. Yeah, the vibes are different, and it's just, just a feel good feeling. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, let's let's see, let's get into the the career, man. You've been a part of the the Blackburn Academy since you were thirteen, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> man, you've done what very few players in the world of football are able to do, and that's just make it from from the academy straight to the first team. And uh, how how was that experience, man? How was it like? Um, well, it's never really easy in, in sports, like, when you're trying to level up mm. when you're going through the years. So, um, personally for me, I started football quite late, because I went down to England when I was about 10 years old, so mm. it was kind of difficult for me to adapt to the situation, I mean, like, all the other players are, like, not really, really good, and then I'm playing catch-up. Yeah. But, you know, it's one of those things where I said to myself, just take it personal and improve on yourself, and it's... You know, it was a hard journey, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I got there. I got, I got, I got where I am today. And it's all in the hard work, like yeah, you say. Definitely. But now you're, you're back home and you're doing bits here, man. You, you've, you've got the, the, the clothing line. We're going to get into that in a little bit. But you've got the Ryan Yambe Academy started up, man. Tell me, tell me why you decided to, to start the academy so young. Because we usually see this like later on in careers, man. Uh -huh. People retire and then get into it. And you've, you've, off the bat, man, you've decided to get into the academy. Yeah, man. Like... So basically, it's, I, for me personally, I just think it's better to start now mm -hmm. rather than later because there's not really a right time to start. Mm. If, you can, if I'm coming from, I mean, and I'm sure if I start now and then I'm sure there's potential at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if I start now, maybe there's opportunities for the kids right now mm -hmm. that I can like, I don't know, maybe open doors for them in yeah. the future. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm completely putting my time on, all my time into this. I've got my football to play as well. Yeah. So it's just all about balance, really. So, and I think I can do that. That's yeah. why I want to start so early. Yeah. But, um, and obviously, I got um, my team to help me out as well. So it takes off the pressure a little bit. Mm. So um, I think that's why. And and the academy so far is I mean it's up and running. Last weekend we, we I had the privilege of just you know overseeing and like not overseeing but joining you and and watching the the coaching clinic that you had at the technical center uh, with with the young kids. How was that experience, man? Um, man, it's just, it's just like, um, you obviously look at the kids, in it, and they're just playing football, and you just, you can envision yourself, like, that was you one day, do you know what I'm saying, that was, mm. you were in their shoes one day, just playing football, and just want to be enjoying, and, um, obviously dreaming of becoming a professional footballer, so, mm. now, you know, for me, it was one of those moments, I'm like, that used to be me, and then I can create something for these kids one day, mm -hmm. it's like a warm heart feeling, you know what I'm saying, it's like, no, it's like feels good. Yeah, yeah. Now off the field, um, it's not just the, the the academy that you're working on, man. You've got the fashion line, <laughs> where you're, you're you're you know getting to the the David Becks, um, very early in your career. Talk to us about the Nyambe clothing line, man. First of all, fresh, fresh, um, bro. Thank you, brother. Some good stuff thank there. You. Yeah, man. Why why did you decide to, to get into that so early? Was it always a passion? Yeah, man. Like, oh, I'll do that. I must have been about 14, I think, 15. Mm -hmm. When I started thinking about fashion, really, it's just, because you know, I've always liked dressing up and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. looking good. Yeah. Like, um, so I think it was about 14, 15, and then I just thought, oh, let me try and create something, you know, like I can put out there that everyone might like, mm -hmm. and everyone will feel comfortable wearing. And then I did about two, three sketches when I was about 15. Then I put that at the side in the drawer. Yeah. And then like a few, I don't know, about me, three years later, yeah. I found those sketches again. And then I, obviously I started thinking about it again during the years. But yeah. I was like, at the moment, I just concentrated on my football. I mean, I was still young, so yeah. I didn't want to start then. Yeah, yeah. And then 
my message is for okay uh, I just want this is the right time to start you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. yeah so and with the with the aim with the fashion line is it um, you know are we looking at at stores in the malls here in Namibia perhaps one day uh, you know Paris Fashion Week <laughs> Nyambe on the you know Nyambe drip check are yeah. we looking at that yeah but you can have a like dream to you know what I mean you gotta dream big yeah um, so obviously if 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 it becomes big enough why not open a store you know what I'm saying but I think at the moment it's just online which is all right okay which yeah it's fine yeah but yeah man you can never dream to to too big so yeah anything can happen yeah anything can happen it's possible now it seems like you have a, a lot of interest outside of the football world which is which is good to see man it's mm -hmm. good to, to see the, the personality aspect of footballers as well yeah um because most of the time we see you for the 90 plus minutes yeah. and yeah. we get to see that personality but there's a lot that happens off of it now there's another ryan in the football world <laughs> Who's taken up his talents uh, in music? Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see Ryan Yambe on the mic one day? <laughs> uh, bro, I don't think so. Spin bars, maybe uh, singing. Uh, uh, maybe, yeah, I'll jump in the music video a little bit, but uh, yeah, <laughs> not the bars, man. Not for you, nah, bro. Um, what are you listening to in the locker room, either by yourself or, or with the team? In the locker room, I'm actually the the music man in the locker room. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's different, really. I got a playlist for uh, like. Uh, but if I got robust playlists, it's like all different variations of music. Yeah. Because you know? it's quite, I mean, people like different things. Yeah, so I'm saying that different people in the changing room. Um, personally, my favorite is Slim, it's from the UK. Mm -hmm. It's like a grandma, it's for, you know, uh, UK. Yeah. Yeah, he's good for me, that's what I listen to. No, I can, I can co sign that. I checked him out uh, two days ago, a day ago. He's got bars. Yeah, he's man, got it's bars, cool, man. man. It's cool. um, now, Ryan, I'm going to ask you a few quick fire questions. First thing that comes to your mind, bro. All right, cool. If you could live in any city in the world, where would you live? Oh, Dubai. Dubai? Yeah, that is the party, man. Um, I asked you this before, and I was surprised by the answer, but last minute free kick, right? You're the manager, man. It's a last minute free kick, 25 yards out, and you've got one player to take the, the, the free kick. This, in this ideal world, Leo Messi is at Blackburn right now. Blackburn Rovers free kick. M Morton Gaps Pedersen or Lionel Messi? Who's taking this one? <laughs> you know, I'm a Rovers player, you know, but uh, I gotta go for Messi, man. The GOAT? Yeah, man, the GOAT. <laughs> who, was, who was your inspiration growing up? Like the, the, the main focus point. Obviously, we have the idols that are out there, mm. and then you have inspiration around you. Like, okay, this, I've seen this guy make it. He's from my ends. I've seen this guy make it, and I'm inspired by that. Who would you say are those two inspirations? So, Leo Messi is probably one of them. Okay, so. So you're saying if someone from my end, like from my local area? Yeah. Then, but, uh, whew, um, obviously, I look up to Rio Ferdinand back in the day. Mm. I mean, mm. As a United fan, he was an uh, unreal, unreal player, unreal defender, and obviously the character and the leader. Yeah. So I think he's going to be alone. Last question. Winning the championship with Blackburn Rovers and, and gaining promotion to the Premier League, or winning the AFCON with Namibia? I know I'm tugging on the heartstrings right now. It's a tough one, man. Let's hear it, man. <laughs> Bro, do you know what? I think it would have to be AFCON. Yeah? Because there's nothing like winning something in your country, do you know what I'm mm. saying? Mm. I know you get promotion to the Premier League Championship, but when you're winning something in your nation, it's just it's in the history books, you know what I'm saying? It's different. Yeah, it's different, man. And, and um, how, how was it? Like that first game, your debut for for the Brave Warriors, man. Was it? Were you nervous? Were you excited? Um, I was excited, didn't I? Because we were playing Mor Mor Morocco, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those feelings. You know, sometimes I'm just like thinking, like I'm here. Do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just it's a crazy feeling. Awesome, awesome yeah. stuff, man. And um, Flanders, man, where can we get where can we get the threads? I know um, you're here right now. I'm not sure if the merchandise is down for the clothing line, mm -hmm. but uh, it's Nyambe C L O is yeah, the handle. Yeah, 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 on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, Facebook as well. Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Twitter, maybe not. Uh, Twitter, no. So uh, get the merch. It's on Facebook. It's on IG. You can order. Um, you can also catch up with Ryan, man. Ryan Yambe on IG. Ryan Yambe on, on Twitter. Uh, everywhere else. And we're looking forward to mostly the career because uh, you're still so young. You still have mm. a bright future ahead of you. But on and off the field, it's good to see you doing so many different things and representing Namibia, man. We're proud, though. Yeah, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you. That is Ryan Yambe. You all know who he is. Uh, catch up with the clothing line. It's the warm up session with your boy Scripty Script. Up next, it is Drizzy Drake with Nonstop on your inspiration station. Yeah.